Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing that how we can achieve multiple inheritance in Java. So in this video, what we will be doing? First of all, we will we will be seeing that why why people say that we cannot achieve multiple inheritance in Java through classes, and then later on we will be seeing that how we can achieve multiple inheritance. So all in all of these understanding, I will be explaining you with the help of the code that how it is not possible and how it is possible. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end so that your this concept can get cleared. So guys, this is we have started a new series for Java for interview series and this is part two of that series. Part one has already been uploaded on our channel that is Java for interview playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to watch it. Okay. So now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Guys, before moving forward, let's just quickly talk about the next level by an academy. It is India's gaming based hiring platform. Next level has come up with a new product that is an AI powered resume builder. Next Level's Resume Builder utilizes cutting-edge AI technology to help you create a polished, professional-looking resume in just minutes. It's easy to use and you can customize the resume for a wide range of professions and job titles. Like you can see on screen, you can simply click on simple prompts and the resume will get auto-fill. Okay? Trust me, it's that easy. No more spending hours trying to figure out the right words to use for the perfect format to follow. Next Level's Resume Builder gives you the edge over the other applicants. You can fill this resume automatically within 3 to 5 minutes. For example, if you are a business development professional who is also open to relation roles, you can create both resume by just entering a single prompt. It's very easy. So if you are looking for a platform to help you building the world class resume and land your dream job, then Next Level is for you. And guys, remember one thing that this Resume Builder will only work on the laptop or desktop. The links are given in the description box. Go and check your, for yourself. Okay, so guys, first of all, let's just see that why multiple inheritance is not possible in Java. So guys, multiple inheritance in Java is not possible through classes. Like if you are trying to achieve multiple inheritance using classes, then it is not possible. Let's just see how it is not possible. Let's just suppose we have a class A. Okay, inside this class A, we have defined a function void helper and let's suppose for class A, this helper function contain a printing statement of subscribe code bashers. Okay, next we have taken class B. So class B also now contains a helper function and this helper function also contains a print statement that is like code bashers. Okay, so these two classes we have formed. Now there is a class C. Okay. Now there is class C which is trying to extend both A and B. So this is what a multiple inheritance is when a single child has two parents. So this class C is trying to extend A and B both. Okay. Let's just assume that this class C is empty and do not have any of its body. Now, now in the main method, when we will form the object of C and we will try to call the helper function of C because since this C, C is extending A and B, so the helper function of both A and B will be going inside this C and using the object of C, we can call this helper function. Okay. I hope till now it is clear. Let's just now quickly run this program. <clears throat> so if you please like and subscribe if you have not done it till now. Okay. So we have run it. You can see here we have got a compilation error. That is this syntax is not possible class C cannot extend more than one class. So this syntax is not possible. Now why we have got a compilation error? Why the multiple inheritance is not possible through classes? Because C. Here C is extending class A, C is extending class B. And both of this class A and class B contains helper functions. Now this C class, if it was allowed to do multiple inheritance using Java, then both of these helper function will be present inside this C class. Okay. Both of these helper functions will be present inside this C class. Now, when we try to call the helper function from the object of C, then the compiler will get confused that which helper function is getting called. Is it of A class or is it of B class? So this is what we call an ambiguity and therefore we are not allowed to do multiple inheritance in Java through classes. 
okay so this type of multiple inheritance is not possible strictly not possible it will give you compiler error because the compiler will get confused that which helper function is getting called either of class a or class b so this is why multiple inheritance in java through classes is not possible now let's just see that how inheritance multiple inheritance is possible in java let's just see in the next section okay so guys multiple inheritance is ja in java is possible through interfaces not through classes but through interfaces multiple inheritance is possible in java let's just see how so i have declared an interface okay interface a and we have just defined the uh, defined the function that we are using in this interface that is void helper because in interfaces we are not allowed to give the body of the functions next is interface b which again has a uh, declaration of helper function so here we have interface a interface b both have helper function in it but only the declaration now let's just see we have a class c which is implementing both of these interfaces so when class uh, when an interface is, is been implemented we use implements keyword and otherwise if we are extending some other class then we use extends keyword so here class c is implementing both interfaces a and b but the clause with interfaces is that that whatever interface will be implemented by class uh, implemented by a class then all the definitions that are present in that interface must be declare must be uh, must be implemented in the class also that is if this class a has a helper function then this when it, this a is getting implemented by class c then this helper function should also get implemented inside this class c again same goes with b that if b is implemented by class c then the methods that are defined in class b that is a helper function should also be implemented in class c so here class a and class b both contains helper function and now class c since it is implementing both a and b therefore it will have to implement all the methods that are present in class a and b so both has helper function so therefore only one helper function can be implemented at a time so this helper function will be implemented so what does it say it is again a print statement that is telling like and subscribe code bashers okay if you have not done it till now please do it okay so now we have implemented class uh, implemented interface a interface b and we have also implemented here the we have also implemented here the functions that are present in interface a and b now it's simple again we will try to form the object of class c and now when we will call this helper function c dot helper this particular helper function will be called so this is where the interface are beneficial because they come with a clause that whenever any interface is getting implemented by a class then all the methods inside that interface should also be implemented by that class like this so in this case there will be no ambiguity and compiler will be not confused that either class a helper function should be take or either class b helper function or interface a or interface b helper function should be take so it will take the helper function that has been implemented inside this class c so this is the helper function and this helper function will be getting called so this is how the interfaces are helpful and they remove the ambiguity and plus they are very helpful in achieving multiple inheritance in java so next time whenever anyone asks you is multiple inheritance possible in java do answer that through classes it is not possible but using interface it is possible let's just quickly run it and show you that this will give the correct answer and we have also achieved multiple inheritance here okay so again if you found this video informative kindly hit that like and subscribe button so here you can see that that helper function is getting called and like and subscribe code bashers is also getting printed so i hope now the difference between the class and interface how we can achieve and how we cannot achieve multiple inheritance is clear to you so guys this was it for this video more such videos will be published under, under this playlist so make sure to hit that subscribe button thank you for watching this video